Hey friends and family, I guess I can't just say fishy friends anymore or fish fam anymore uh, unless it's a fishy video uh, and this one's not. It's intended to be a two minute or less update on uh, Sand Creek, the little bi ball python that uh, Amy, Nathan's wife, gave me a couple of weeks ago uh, after he had uh, passed. And uh, we had uh, a little bit of uh, tra traumatic experience a few days ago uh, with an attempted feeding and he became defensive. He or she yet to be sexed and uh, was striking at the mouse and with my inexperience didn't realize until I looked at the video later and then had it confirmed by comments that it was defensive striking not striking to grab the food and have since learned that ball pythons that pythons don't strike at their food they grab it and then curl around it so I learned quite a bit just from that one uh, episode uh, and much more to learn um, you can see that I have not pursued changing the inside of this um, uh, habitat that he came in. I've got already got him a bigger bow. It's a Pyrex uh, oblong squarish kind of bow. It's deeper and takes up the corner of the end of this tank. Uh, several people have told me he needed a bigger bow uh, to soak in and to help with sheds and so forth. I already have him some coconut soil substrate uh, that will help keep his humi humidity up. I also have him a new uh, hide that will go in the, oh wow, how cool, I love that, uh, that will go in uh, his water uh, bowl end uh, that's made from cork and it's round, but I can break that in two and make two from it. It's not as big as this one, um, so I think you'll find it cozy. Uh, and that hide will move down a little more toward the other end, probably caddy corner back there so he can get in and out the top and the sides as well. It's also got the uh, heating pad that came with the uh, <coughs> habitat affixed to the bottom uh, closer to that end. Um, and so for that reason, I've been keeping his uh, light pushed down that way a little more. I thought about, uh, this is a bowl that needs to be cleaned, but it's a bowl I pulled out of Nelson's habitat and it was a water bowl uh, but he never liked it. For some reason, he never would soak in it. He never would poop in it. He never would do anything. He would rarely drink from it. Uh, so I started using just his food bowl as his water bowl. So, but that's another story. Um, but back to this fellow. I just wanted to show people who've been asking about him and a lot of people have been happy to meet him. Some people are not fond of snakes or not into snakes and don't know a lot about snakes like me. Uh, but I, I uh, the only issue I had was getting past the fact that he has no legs, but he has spurs, he or she, uh, which were legs at one time with uh, legless lizards, I guess, that evolved to snakes. I hope I have that correct. Um, but I've never had any issue with Nelson, uh, my uh, big Indonesian blue tongue skink, who looks a whole lot more like a snake than this little fellow does, and he has little tiny legs. Um, so I just had to get over that. Um, and this guy's really friendly. He's really calm. He's sweet, if a snake can be sweet. But uh, I've still just been leaving him alone, so that's why I've made no progress at all on updating the inside of this and making it a little better for him, a little nicer. When I do, I'll clean the inside of the glass uh, with maybe some really diluted vinegar water, with him not in there, of course. Um, and uh, just get it straightened up for him a little better and get his humidity up. Uh, I'm gonna take the dials back that I got for temp and humidity and uh, get some electronic ones that someone recommended that uh, are at sale at Lowe's. Um, so yeah, it's gonna come along, but we just don't wanna do a whole lot, we meaning me, uh, right now um, to cause any uh, concern with him. He's looking much more relaxed even than he did yesterday, and I sit right here at a desk. Not quite as close as this appears, but I'm less than four feet. I'm about two and a half, three feet from him, and if I turn around, I can see him, and this is what he does most of the time if I'm sitting here. I also have fish tanks all around the area, uh, and I'm zoomed in so you can see uh, the fish look big. Um, 
So he watches me a lot, and he did that when I took him out a couple of days ago and took him to Petco. Did see the young lady at Petco today and told her about uh, how his feeding episode went and uh, that people thought the mouse was too big, and she assured me that it was not. And she said, wait a couple more days, a few days, and try again. But to just put the mouse in, don't worry about taking him out, don't worry about tongs, feed him like he's been being fed uh, where he came from. Sorry, I've got dogs jumping on me here. Um, and once he's settled in and acclimated and that kind of thing, uh, then we can, you know, worry about some retraining if we think we need that. Some people have even told me that they've always fed their snake in its habitat and they've never been bitten. So, um, and of course somebody pointed out too, um, the common sense uh, uh, behind that is that you don't want a 12 foot snake grabbing at your hand when you're about to feed. Well, when it's a one foot or 18 inch snake like this, I'm not sure exactly how big he is, but he's not any bigger than 18 inches and he's as big as my thumb. So he's really not any threat to me at this point. So I don't think I need to worry about that now. So a lot of rambling, but I want to get a good update in on him. And uh, he very is very uh, interested in watching me and he has been since I got him. And maybe that's what he does all the time. He Maybe he looked at Nathan a lot. I know he was very content to be with Nathan and saw him in several of Nathan's uh, live streams and he would just lay with Nathan. Even if Nathan dozed off uh, on a live stream, he would continue just to lay there cord around his wrist. Uh, so he's a sweet boy, that's for sure, or girl. Um, and had a lot of compliments on uh, the pattern and it's what's called a normal. It's not been uh, genetically altered or enhanced. Um, so, and I'm learning some about that kind of stuff. So, uh, which I don't need to know, but just curious to learn more about the ball, ball pythons. So there we go. Um, I hope that answers any questions and any concerns anybody has. And I'm thrilled that people are taking an interest in him. And even people that say, I don't care for snakes or I'm not interested in snakes, but this is interesting or glad you have him or he's pretty, you know, I don't expect, you know, all of my subscribers that, you know, I've built a channel on liking fish and lots of fish information sharing to jump on the snake uh, and be fond of it. But it's a pet that I have. I show my dog sometimes. I show my skink sometimes. I even show my cats sometimes. So uh, I definitely plan on showing this guy. And since he's what's going on with me right now, I just wanted to share that with everybody. So. I appreciate people indulging that, uh, that are not uh, snake people, so to speak. Um, and the ones that are, I appreciate all of your constructive uh, criticism and suggestions and sharing of experience. That's that's worth, that worth its weight in gold. I mean, when somebody that's kept a pet for a long time shares good experience, you, you just can't get that in a book or something. You just can't. So. All right, guys, thanks if you've listened to this ramble this long. And there's Mr. Sand Creek. Uh, he does drink a lot of water. Almost forgot to mention that. You can see that uh, the bowl is getting low. So I'll drizzle some in. I won't, will not uh, open it up um, still. I want him to feel perfectly secure and content in there for a few days. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And speaking of subscribing, we've made that 1,500 subscribers, so stay on the lookout now for those giveaways. They're coming soon. I've already decided one, and I will go ahead, uh, since people have watched to the end will know, um, there are gonna be three giveaways, and um, they're gonna be staged, so to speak, and not all done at the same time. And there'll be different things. So the first one is not too far off, so. See you soon. Thanks, guys.